The common problems that people experience at the front of the knee is wear and tear in the kneecap joint or patellofemoral arthritis. Usually this will be some creaking and crunching going up and down the stairs. It'll be a problem that whenever you overdo it, you get some pain in the knee. Sometimes the knee will swell after activity and you'll find there's very much a limit on what you can achieve in a given day on the knee. If you think you're suffering from kneecap arthritis, you may need to slow up a bit until you can get the problem sorted out. Some general physiotherapy to strengthen the muscles around the knee can help, and I often use injections to calm the knee down. But all the time you're waiting to see a doctor, I would slow up on your exercise. If it's a problem right at the front of the knee, in the kneecap tendon here, we call that patella tendonitis. That's quite a common overuse injury for somebody that suddenly increased the amount of sport that they're doing, or is putting on an awful lot of training volume. We call it an overuse injury, but actually it's more correctly called an under-recovery injury. And often if you really sort out your sleep and get plenty of sleep and plenty of rest between exercise sessions, it can settle down. There's also some really powerful exercises called eccentric loading, specifically for the kneecap tendon. The other really potent and often misdiagnosed cause for anterior knee pain is something called Hoffer's syndrome. Sometimes you can see some visible swelling in the area either side of the kneecap tendon, and there's pain bringing the knee out fully straight, also pain going up and down stairs, and pain sitting with the knee bent for any length of time. This is because in this space in your body, there's a little pad of fat called the Hoffer's fat pad that can get inflamed. It's a bit more common in women and a bit more common in people who are very flexible or hypermobile. Fortunately, this very rarely needs surgery and usually responds nicely to some specific physiotherapy exercises and using something called K-tape on the knee to get you out of trouble. Rarely people will need an injection as well. If you think you've got the problems with the kneecap joint, click on the first link. If you think the problems are tendonitis, click on the second link. And if you think the problems are Hoffer's syndrome, click on the third link. And there's some more information on my website here. And if you still can't get to the bottom of your problems, feel very free to email me.